welcome to Mental Math for Kids. This channel is dedicated to helping you grow in your math skills by learning fun tips and strategies to quickly solve equations in your head. In this video, I'm going to share with you a fun strategy to mentally multiply two digit numbers using a single line answer. Are you ready? Let's go. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve equations just like this one on the screen using a mental math strategy to give us a single line answer. So instead of multiplying this out the traditional way and having two partial products that we add together, we're going to just look at this equation, do a little calculation in our head, and just be able to say the answer out loud or just write it in a single line. Now, I can tell you that the answer to this equation, I think, it is 182. Let's go through and work the equation out the traditional way first, and then I'll teach you the strategy that I just used to solve it in my head. And we'll check to see if I'm correct. Is the answer 182? Let's see. So we have the equation 13 times 14, and the first step if we were to solve this a traditional way would be to start in the ones place. That would be a four. And we're going to multiply this four by the number 13. So first we're going to multiply four times three. What's that? Four times three is 12. So we'll put the two in the answer for the ones place and we'll carry that one from the tens place in the number 12 up into our tens column. And now we'll multiply four times one, which is four. And we have to add that one that we carried. So four plus one is five. And we'll write that five. There's our first partial product. Now we need to put that zero under the two and we move over to this one. We're in the tens place now. That's why we put that zero there. Now we're going to multiply the number one by the number 13. So we're going to start one times three, and that equals three, and then one times one equals one. And now we have our second partial product. So now we have to add 52 plus 130. So we'll start in our ones column. Two plus zero is two. Five plus three equals eight and one plus nothing or zero equals one. And the answer is 182, I was correct. Now this way took a little bit longer to multiply and get those partial products and add them together, but we got the right answer. But this mental math strategy of using a single line answer, I think is a lot of fun and I hope that you enjoy learning this strategy too. All right, let me show you how I solved this equation in my head. Now, instead of multiplying the traditional way, you're going to learn a few new steps, and it might seem complicated at first, and it is a little bit complicated. However, once you learn the steps, it's going to become very familiar to you, and I think it will be a lot easier for you. And again, if you want to work these equations out on paper first as you're first learning a mental math strategy, that is fine. Because with mental math, you do have to get used to holding numbers in your head and remembering what place value they're in to be able to say the answer correctly out loud. So as you're starting, go ahead, solve it right on the paper. That will help you be able to see the correct answer and not forget it. And then the more you practice the strategy, the better you will become at it and you will master it and you'll be able to do it in your head just like I did. So let's go back to our equation. We have the equation 13 times 14. The first step in this mental math strategy is to multiply down in the ones place or the ones column. So we have a three and a four in the ones place. We're going to multiply these two numbers together just like that's the first step when we solve it the traditional way. Multiply down three times four. We know that is 12. So I'm going to put a two in my ones place for the answer. And I'm going to carry that one just like I did before into the tens column. Now, this is where it changes a little bit. Instead of cross multiplying the four times the one and getting our partial product, what we're going to do is we are going to cross multiply both three times one and one times four. Then we're going to add those two answers together and then we'll add anything that we carried. All right, let me show you what I mean. So first step, multiply down. Three times four gave us 12. We put our two, carry our one. Next step, cross multiply. So we're going to cross multiply three times one. That gives us three. Now we're going to cross multiply one times four. Well, one times four, that gives us four. Now we add these two numbers together. What is three plus four? Three plus four equals seven. That's right. Now, seven is not 
the answer yet because we have to add that one that we carried from our first step in the equation. So now we're going to add seven plus one and that gives us that eight. And eight is the answer in the tens place. So now we're going to put in our eight right here. The last step after we cross multiply is to multiply down in the tens column. So we have a one and a one. We didn't have to carry anything. So we're just going to multiply one times one is one. And we're going to put that one as the answer in the hundreds place. And the correct answer is 182. So let me go through these steps again. I know it looks like a lot at first, but the more you practice it, the easier it will become for you. We have the equation 13 times 14. First step, multiply down in the ones column. Three times four is 12. Leave your two, carry your one. Next step, cross multiply and add. Three times one is three. One times four is four. Add those together, you get seven. Add the one that we carried. Seven plus one equals eight. That's the second number in our answer. Last step, multiply down in the tens place. One times one is one. That's the last number in our answer. 182 is the correct answer. The hardest part, I think, with this strategy is just remembering the answers as you're working the problem out. And don't forget to add anything that you carry. That could be a place where you might forget and then you'd get the wrong answer. So just be mindful of remembering to add the numbers that you carry. And if you can't remember the answers, like if you start to work this out in your head and you go three times four, that's two. And you think, okay, two is gonna be my ones column. And then you move to the cross multiply and you forget what this answer is, go ahead and write it down to start with. Write that two down so you don't forget. And then the more you practice, you'll be able to do it in your head. All right, let's try a couple together. We have the equation 72 times 31. We're not going to multiply these out the traditional way. We're going to use our new mental math strategy. So the first step is multiply down two times one. Multiply down in the ones place. Two times one is two. Next step, cross multiply two times three. That gives us six, seven times one, that gives us seven. So we're going to add the six from the two times three plus the seven from the seven times one together. That gives us 13. We're going to leave the three from the ones place in our answer and carry the one from the tens place over into the tens column. Now we just multiply down in the tens column. So we're going to multiply seven times three, that's 21. And then we have to add that one that we carry. 21 plus one equals 22. And we're going to write 22 as the last part of our answer. And now we can see 72 times 31 equals 2,232. Wasn't that so fast? I like this strategy. It's just a little bit easier than solving it out and adding those partial products together. I think it's a little bit more fun too. All right, let's try 33 times 12. First step, multiply down in your ones place. Three times two is six. Now cross multiply and add. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. So we're going to add three plus six and get nine. Nothing to carry, nine goes in the answer of the tens place. Now last step, just multiply down in your tens column. Three times one is three. And so we'll write a three in the hundreds place of our answer. And there you go, we're done. The answer to 33 times 12 is 396. How fast was that? Let's review it one more time. Multiply down, three times two gives us the six. Cross multiply, three times one is three. Three times two is six. Add the three and the six together and we get nine. Apply down in your tens column, three times one is three. And there's our answer. Okay, let's try a few more. We have 42 times 14. This time I'm not going to show the steps. We're going to do these in our head. And again, it becomes a little bit more challenging trying to hold the numbers in your head. Well, let's see if we can do it. We have 42 times 14. First multiply down. Two times four is eight. So I'm going to think an eight is the answer in my ones place. Now we're going to cross multiply. Two times one is two. Four times four is 16. So I'm going to add 16 plus two and get 18. So now we're going to have another eight in the answer. We're going to leave the eight from the number 18 and carry a one into the tens column, multiply down. Four times one is four, plus the one that we carried gives us a five. So my answer is going to be, do you remember the numbers? 
588. 588 is the correct answer to 42 times 14. A little bit harder to do it in our head. So go ahead and do it on paper if you need to. That is fine. But work towards being able to solve these in your head. Let's try another one. 35 times 18. We're going to multiply down 5 times 8 first. Well, we know 5 times 8 is 40. So we're going to leave a 0 here. Think I have a 0 in my 1's place. I'm going to carry a 4. Now, cross multiply and add. 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 8 is 24, 24 plus 5 equals 29, but we're not done, we carried that 4, so 29 plus 4 is 33. So now we're going to put a 3 in the tens place and just review, there's a 0 in the ones place of our answer. So we have a 3 and a 0, all right, and we had to carry a 3 into the tens place from that number 33. Multiply down in your tens place. 3 times 1 is 3, and then add that 3 we carried. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So our answer should be a 6, a 3, and a 0, and that gives us 630, and that is the correct answer. Okay, let's try 17 times 13. Multiply down first. 7 times 3 is 21. We're going to leave a 1 here and carry our 2. Cross multiply and add. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 3 is 3, 7 plus 3 is 10, add that 2 that you carried, 10 plus 2 equals 12. So we're going to leave the 2 in our answer, carry the 1. So now we have a 2 and a 1 in our answer, we carried a 1 over into the tens column, multiply 1 times 1 is 1, don't forget to add that 1 that you carried, and 1 plus 1 is 2, so our answer is 2, 2, 1 or 221 is the correct answer to 17 times 13. All right. Well, that is it for today's lesson. I hope that you enjoyed learning this strategy of multiplying two digit numbers in a single line answer strategy. Keep practicing. The more you practice, the easier the strategy will become for you. And I think that you'll have a lot of fun as you can start to solve these larger number equations in your head.